Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. So today we are going to talk about a very interesting thing, very interesting topic. Uh, but before I go into that, I would like to tell you that I've just now received a mail from one of our subscribers that he has cracked uh, the BOA profile of ZS Associate. So congratulations to him and congratulations to all of those who messaged me in the last few days that they have got selected. Congratulations to you all. And ZS is hiring in numbers uh, now, particularly in both uh, off campus and uh, on campus processes. Uh, so. Uh, we are glad that we could contribute that 1% in your achievement, uh, in your feet, uh, through our case studies and guesstimates video. Uh, so it's a happy day for me. Um, but having said that, uh, there is a lot of anxiety in the crowd as well regarding uh, this examinations that's going to happen in the upcoming days, uh, particularly the JE and the NEET is much in discussion whether those exams should be conducted or not. Uh, I would not go into my perspective regarding the same. Uh, I would like to discuss a generalized overview that what is happening in the crowd nowadays and I'm not going to talk about JE or NEET in particular. But I'm going to talk about gate examination, though it's far distant away, but still people are anxious about the new gate uh, criteria that has been released by the council. Uh, because a lot of uh, criteria, a lot of procedures has changed recently, um, a particular one being the third years being made eligible to appear for the gate examination this year. So this is interesting. Uh, so one of uh, my juniors uh, uh, mailed me, uh, messaged me in fact, uh, a few days back that whether I should give the examination or not uh, please make a video on that uh, whether I should be giving the examination or whether the third year student should be giving the examinations I've received a couple of messages from other sources as well whether a third year student should give the examination or not and if he or she does decide to uh, give the examination uh, what should be the way of preparation so uh, my video today's video is about that only that whether you should give the examination of gate or not uh, the third year students in particular so let me tell you a small story about a guy who didn't have money back in 2015 to buy books, to have food two times a day. Uh, in fact, he survived uh, on one time food at times and he was starving the other uh, half of the day. And at that point of time, he had no option but self-study and he left all the hope because his uh, Peers, his fellow mates were going to Fiji, going to Akash, going to Pathfinder. On the other hand, he didn't have much idea about this uh, particular institutions. Neither did he have any resources to study. He couldn't even afford tuition fees. That is local tuition fees, uh, 400, 500 rupees. That also he couldn't afford. So he decided to learn by himself and he decided to appear for uh, JE examinations. That guy scored 220 in JE mains examination. Unfortunately, his result was not that impressive in ISC because of which the overall rank went back because uh, uh, back then ISC score used to be considered in uh, JE mains ranking. And he also appeared for the West Bengal Joint Entrance Examination and he got selected into Jadapur University. Uh, and he studied there four years of chemical engineering and today he's a successful chemical engineer. If you determine success in terms of uh, knowledge gathered in terms of the place you walk in, uh, the things you learn daily, yes, he is successful and he has struggled a lot to reach here. And that same guy uh, also, uh, after getting the job, got a little relaxed uh, and was thinking that I shouldn't appear for gate in the fourth year. But he did appear and surprisingly, he secured a good bit of rank of 357 in gate. And that guy is sitting in front of you. Yes, this is my story. So why did I tell this story to you? Not about uh, not about boasting on my achievements, but telling you that you should take your chances. Yes, you should never let go. So the clear and simple answer to your question, whether a third year student should appear for gate, if you are made eligible for it, do appear. If you have the peace to pay, do appear because that is going to give you an experience, an experience of a lifetime. And if that guy who didn't have any resources, who didn't have any knowledge of what to study, what not to study, couldn't even afford the basic tuition fees, if he can crack that examination in the first attempt, if that guy who had left out after getting a job in on campus round, he gave it up and finally appeared for GATE very randomly and he got a 357 rank, if that guy can do it, so can you. I have multiple examples like this where people have given up where people have sit randomly and they've scored well. 
Now, many people are asking that even if we score well, the PSUs do not accept scores of uh, past years. That is, if I score good in this year and I appear for the PSU after passing after passing on my fourth year, that is, after becoming graduate, this uh, third year gate marks will not be considered. Yes, very rightly so. Many PSUs do not consider marks of your previous gate examination, though the gate score is valid for three years now. Previously, it was valid for two years. Now it is valid for three years. But most of the PSUs do not accept the previous year's gate score. But the previous year gate score is acceptable in MTech admissions. That is in IIT Bombay, IIS in Bangalore. Uh, some particular institutions do accept scores of previous years. Some institutes do not. Some institutes do. Uh, accept previous year's scores so this is not going to go in vain first of all it will you will get a lot of experience of how an actual examination works secondly it might just surprisingly work out well for you and you might just secure, secure a very good rank um, when you go unprepared you don't have any pressure in your mind to perform or to answer all the questions you simply solve what you know and that sometimes helps in the examination going without a pressure in your mind that i have one two three four years more to experiment then you go with that mindset that i have nothing to lose and then is when you do give a good exam or you tend to give a good exam under less pressure a candidate who knows that i've already like spent three years studying gate and this is my final attempt probably pre-final or final attempt after this i would be just uh, giving it in a age where it won't really matter after 25, 26, it doesn't really matter whether you crack gate or not, at least for a few. Uh, then the mindset is different. I will have to perform. I will have to crack it. But for a fresher who is in his third year, not even completed his degree, it's lucid for him. He will go with the mindset that even if I get it, no problem. Even if I do not, doesn't really bother. So that is the kind of uh, attitude that can eventually help you release pressure. So it's like a pressure release valve for you. So uh, having said that, you should appear, uh, I believe, strongly believe you should appear for the examination. And what are the books that you should particularly refer for uh, each particular section? Like for heat uh, transfer, you might refer to in Prepare Do It. Uh, for uh, thermodynamics, uh, chemical thermodynamics, you can refer to uh, Trebal. Uh, in fact, for, um, uh, for, sorry, for thermodynamics, you can refer to YBC Rao or uh, uh, Van der Smith uh, for mass transfer you can refer to Trebal or BK Datta. I am going to write the list of all the books that you can refer for particular subjects in the description box. Please refer to that. So you can prepare yourself by reading books and whatever knowledge you have gathered like of fluid mechanics or of heat transfer or of uh, material balance calculation, whatever you have gathered in the first, second and third years, just recollect those things and read from these books. And that I would think would be enough because you have uh, 30 marks in that paper. You have aptitude and mathematics. So if you solve those 30 marks, the rest of the 70 marks are your technical questions. And if you manage to solve only 25 out of them and you solve 30 out of 30 in the aptitude and math section. So what happens is 30 plus 25 55 which gives a decent rank in chemical engineering uh, examination for chemical engineering if you get 55 you're going to secure quite a decent rank in fact my rank was uh, 357 and my score was around 55 in 2019 gate examination set by iit madras where the paper was relatively tougher uh, than the earlier ones because that was set by iit Roorkee and iit guwahati the paper standard was increased and that's why the cutoff fell down and at 55 i could secure a, a score of uh, like uh, rank of 357 so if the paper is really tough and you can attempt only those 25 marks and 30 marks from aptitude and mathematics so adding up to all those uh, you will get around 55 uh, marks and that i think would be enough for chemical engineering student in particular so give the examination doesn't really matter whether you have resources whether you have knowledge you're in the third year that score is going to matter or not matter in the future years just give the examination that is what I I would suggest as a senior to you just give it just give it a best shot so i think uh, that's all for today uh, as requested by one of my juniors and a few other sources uh, if you like the video like it share it with your friends subscribe to our channel thank you very much